Here are the highlights of ATP creation in the mitochondria. Along the inner mitochondrial membrane, electron energy supplied by NADH and FADH2 is used to create an electrical current. That current powers proton pumps that pump protons from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space. These trapped protons can only exit that space through the ATP synthase channel. As these protons diffuse through the ATP synthase channel, their kinetic energy is used to power the enzymatic creation of ATP from ADP and phosphate. I'm Mr. W. I'm a retired AP biology teacher. I created this channel, the Learn Dash Biology website, and the Biomania AP Bio app to help you crush your biology course. The electron transport chain is a series of enzymes embedded in the inner mitochondrial membrane organized in a linear array. There are thousands of these arrays along the inner mitochondrial membrane. That's partly why that inner membrane is so intensely folded. Now let's shift to a much more detailed depiction. Here's the matrix. You can see the reduced electron carriers, NADH and FADH2, dropping off their electrons. These electrons flow along the electron transport chain, represented by the yellow arrow, which is built into the mitochondrial inner membrane. This electron energy is essentially an electrical current. We use electricity to light lights and to power computers, motors, radios, etc. The mitochondria use this electricity to power proton pumps. These pump protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. The intermembrane space is a closed compartment. Protons can't get through the phospholipid bilayers of either the inner or outer mitochondrial membrane. The protons packed into that space are like the water trapped behind a dam. They're a form of potential energy. Engineers build dams and then use turbines to convert the potential energy of the trapped water into electricity. Mitochondria do something that's analogous, but on a nano scale. We're about two thirds through. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Also, please like this video and subscribe. I've created a tutorial to help you master this material on learn-biology.com. Remember that if you complete my course there, I guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. Links are below. In the mitochondrial inner membrane, there's a transmembrane channel that's called ATP synthase. It's a channel for protons and it's an enzyme. When protons diffuse from the intermembrane space back to the matrix, ATP synthase uses the kinetic energy of these diffusing protons to convert ADP and P into ATP. This process is called oxidative phosphorylation because the electron transport chain can only run if oxygen is present. You see this here where oxygen is shown as the last electron acceptor in the chain. If oxygen isn't present, electrons don't flow. If electrons don't flow, protons don't get pumped. If protons don't get pumped, ATP synthase can't make ATP from ADP and phosphate. This process is also called chemiosmosis. That's because the diffusion of protons through the ATP synthase channel reminded Peter Mitchell, the Nobel laureate who discovered this process in the 1960s, of osmosis, the diffusion of water. To look at this material from another angle in a uniquely engaging way, go watch my music video, The Electron Transport Chain.